Greetings, John Tolhurst here from Cruise Bike. I've got a Cruise Bike Sigma here today in the box. I'm going to uh, unpack it and uh, then proceed to assemble it. The Cruise Bike Sigma is unlike our other front wheel drive recumbents. This is a rear wheel drive, but a rear wheel drive with a difference. It has a universal joint solid steering system, which you won't find on any other uh, such bike. So it comes in two boxes, wheel box and seat box, and the frame. The frame will come collapsed down. It's three main elements making up a large triangle. So when they go together, you'll see the triangle. But for now, we just lift the whole pack out of the box. See that brilliant red colour? No need for me to tell you it's red. And going along with those frame elements, uh, a couple of items out of here uh, cranks, short cranks, I'll tell you about that later. We have the seat pan and the seat cushion. Have the, the seat back and its cushion. And we have a small wheel, now that's for the front, and we have a seat brace for the hold the back of the seat. We have the rear wheel, and you'll see two different size wheels, small wheel on the front, large one on the back, and in this wheel, the internally geared hub, which is a SRAM uh, iMotion 9, beautiful gearbox, and just perfectly suited to the needs of this bike. Ahead, and I've unwrapped the components, and I've just laid them out on the table here and now the fun begins, we're going to erect the main triangle of the bike. So the main triangle is comprised of this tube which sits there and this tube here which connects on here and meets up on the top of that top tube. So I'll just go ahead and move this into position. Just move that over there. The cables go underneath at the front there. The cables go underneath that bottom bracket. And this pivot here slides into place here. So I'll just get the uh, hammer and I'll tap this bearing in here on this side, hold it so it doesn't run away and on the other side and there we go and then there's a bolt it's in there I think that will be an uh, M6 is it? It's an M6, so I'll just turn that Go ahead and turn that bolt in, but I don't want that to drop, so I'm just going to let that on there. I'll finish turning this bolt in now. I'll go ahead and hold the other side, of course. There we go. You may wonder why there's a pivot here. Apart from allowing you to pack the bike down small, it means that any forces coming up the wheel from a bump then start to bend the front tube. 
So the front tube acts as a passive suspension member. It doesn't give you much movement, but just takes the harshness out of the ride. You want the harshness to come out of the ride if you want high pressure tyres. Of course you want high pressure tyres because you want the most effortless, easy riding that you can possibly do. Okay, so I think that's just about there now. Now, the next step is, I think I like to put these handlebars. This gooseneck in, I'll go ahead and put this gooseneck into this tube here. And then spearing off to that gooseneck is this steering column. It slides up through that bushing. There's a bushing here. So that you get a nice smooth uh, steering sensation. And then on top of there is the handlebars. Uh, what's going on the handlebars with the cables going on the back of them. Gooseneck going on to there. There we go. So I've got a few bolts here to do up to hold that into, into position. There's a clamp around this little gooseneck. Is that Allen key there? That's quite helpful, isn't it? It's done up. I got this one. Hold the stem on in place. And there you handle by clamp. I might make some further adjustments to these once the bike is fully assembled. You probably notice that that's pointing the wrong way. Just do that up temporarily there for the moment. Now, from that point, that's we're very close to having the complete triangle. So, this is the last member. If I lift that up, suddenly you see the bike shape. Emerge. Just slide that down onto there. And then this will drop into there. Like that. And there's your there's your complete frame. Now all that remains with this frame is to put the wheels in, put the seat on. Uh, and hook up the crank and pedals. Right, so with the frame up, it's just time to go ahead and put the seat on. First, put the seat pan on, which sits directly on this seat mount. There is a choice of holes, you can adjust the tilt a little bit, but just start off in the middle. That's probably going to be the right place for you. And it simply bolts on with some M6 uh, stainless steel bolts. Like so. 